This is John LeBlanc for Toronto Star Wheels at the 82nd Geneva Motor Show. Now, one of the reasons the annual Swiss show is one of my favorites every year are the Italian design houses that usually come north. Let's check them out. Now owned by Volkswagen, Italian design Gigero introduced their Bravito, a four-seat, go-wing supercar. You've probably heard of Italian design's founder, Giorgetto Gigiero. With the original Golf and Scirocco, and a long list of supercars on his design resume, he's one of the greatest car designers in history. The Bravito wears a big G for Gigiero on its front end, instead of one of Volkswagen's many brands. More expectedly, the Bravito, which apparently is Italian for thrill, uses a lot of Volkswagen hardware, including its 360 horsepower engine and 8-speed automatic gearbox that delivers an under 6 second 0 to 60 time, theoretically at least. And seemingly just to show off, Gigero also showed up with a racing Bravito, done up in martini livery. Very cool. Bertoni usually shows up to Geneva with a stunner, and this Nuccio concept doesn't disappoint. Named after Giuseppe Nuccio Bertoni, who died in 1997, son of the company's founder. This stunning concept also pays tribute to one of the firm's most famous show cars from the past, the 1970 Lancia Stratos Prototipo Zero. And like that 70s show car, the new Nuccio is a classic piece of Italian wedge with a windshield that angles straight down to its knife edge bumper. We've been told there's a 483 horsepower V8 in the middle of the car and that it can go to 60 in under 4 seconds and top out at 300 kilometers an hour. Arguably the most conservative design from this year's contributions from the Italian design houses came from Pininfarina. Called the Cambiano, it's another 4-seat supercar, but wearing less exotic clothes than its Gigero counterpart. Like a well-tailored suit, the Cambiano speaks of its wealth softly. Now, maybe conservatively dressed, but still carrying a big stick. Powered by an 816 horsepower diesel turbine electric hybrid powertrain, it's theoretically about one second quicker to 60 than the Bravito. At this year's Swiss show, Turin Superleggera showed up with a concept based on a car from 60 years ago. Called the Disco Volante, or Flying Saucer in English, the 1952 Alpha looked like nothing else on the road at the time. And now Turin is bringing back the Disco, but this time using a modern Alfa Romeo 8C Competizione chassis as a base. And just like 60 years ago, when rich folks could take their car to a custom builder for a new body, Turin is making a small batch of the new Discos. No word on how much the Disco Volante 212 will cost, but as gorgeous as it is, it certainly won't come cheap. Turin says it takes 4,000 man hours to create a new Disco, and you have to wait eight months after you send them their 8C Compensazione to work on. For me, if I had the cash, the wait would definitely be worth it. <laughs>